Hello, Rich Merritt here with Digital Combustion, and we're going to go ahead and do a quick tutorial on unzipping a zipped file in Windows 10. And we can see here we've got a Fire Studio install file right here, and it's going to be designated by a zipper on it that lets you know that it's a compressed or zipped file. And what's been happening to a lot of people is they'll go ahead and double click on this file and then you'll see the folder in there and they'll double click on that and they're trying to run the setup from within this compressed folder and what happens is if you do that it's it's not going to find the proper files and you're going to get a lot of error messages and, and your install is going to fail and then you're going to call us and wonder what's going on but what's happening here is is that with Windows 10 it started a, a different way of opening these zip folders and it was a little confusing and, and if you look on the web there's a lot of tutorials that uh, explain this to you so I'm going to go ahead and I, I went back to its original state. So I'm going to go ahead and, and bring this back to here. And you can see up here that this little pink thing up, up at the top where it says compressed folder tools. Um, we're going to click on extract there. Oops. Yeah, there we go. And that opens up a button that says extract all. And when you extract all, that gives you another dialog that lets you select a destination and extract your files to. So once you do that, you know, you can pick wherever you want and browse for a different location. Then you can go ahead and install Fire Studio 6 from those files once they're extracted. Uh, the other thing you can do, which is a little easier, is if you right click on that same folder, instead of going through all that other stuff, you can just, on the right click menu, you can click extract all, and then that same destination and extract file uh, dialog box will come up you can extract your files and go ahead and install Fire Studio from there. So hopefully that helps some confusion that people are having out there and um, hope this tutorial helped you out. Again, Rich Merritt with Digital Combustion and if you have any other questions or need some other help you can always email us at support at digitalcombustion.com and that's also you can visit our website that has some other tutorials and videos on it at www.digitalcombustion.com. Thanks.